Howdy cowdies, weekly walkabout time at the collector, hope you're going good. We've been, funnily enough, really busy again, heaps of cool stuff. A couple of little Coca-Cola bottles, one on the right hand side to cigarette lighter. Nice little pixie door knocker, there's a lovely little sterling silver Irish clatter ring in that little box there, lot number 191. I got some cool footy and cricket badges again, Fitzroy Gorillas, Fitzroy Gorillas. MCC, Broken Hill South, I think you got West Adelaide or something there, Sandful, South Melbourne Cricket and Football Club, VRC over the back, fantastic BP, St Kilda, um, decal or water slide that hasn't been used, they're nice little enamelled signs, some cool sort of Scotty Dog gear in there, little brooch is fantastic, I've got some really nice furniture this week. The swivel captain's chair, really nice little um, fold-out campaign chair, Bentwood one, cute little sort of Sheridan-style desk, a really nice big Victorian wardrobe, and if you look in the mirror, you can see Gail sitting at the desk. <laughs> she just shat herself. <laughs> a nice Victorian cedar chest of drawers, and another nice little Victorian cedar uh, toilet mirror, whatever you want to call it. That is not original. It's just what we've got in there to stop the bloody mirror or hold the mirror up. Really nice sort of Edwardian dining suite. Seven piece in great nick. It's got two leaves to go with the table. Nice little pedestal. A couple of bits of stereo gear. We've got a pretty cool sort of 1970s, 80s, I reckon. Fisheries and Wildlife Victoria jacket. Sort of fur lined and everything. Looks to be sort of like a medium or larger size. Some great retro and sort of kitsch aprons. Some really cool stuff in amongst there. Box of sort of pop and rock ephemera. There's old beat magazines and stuff like that down the bottom. There you go. You've got a signed photograph there of that guy. Some other stuff. There's some pretty cool Adam and the Ants gear in amongst here. I think there's an Adam and the Ants Australian fan club folder with all the gear in it. Big prints. Boxes of stuff, some more boxes, picture frames, group lot, sort of household gear with a nice little espresso machine. And here's a nice DeLonghi cappuccino machine, coffee machine with a separate grinder and all the bloody descaling stuff and everything. Cool little lot of Aboriginal related books. These Dreamtime books are fantastic. That's the three volume set. And you've got a big sort of single volume over the back as well. Mix a lot of records, some pictures and mirrors and stuff. Uh, kids' toys, there's some pretty cool gear in amongst there. Look at these guys when I was a kid. He was pretty cool. A little professor. What else have we got? More boxes of Bakelite stuff, records, Laurel and Hardy videos, nice tea service with some other bits of EP. More things and some other bits of stuff. A couple of nice prints and Gladstone bags, Albert Namajira print. This is a nice watercolour. Oh, it's got it on the back of the other thing where it actually is. It's a lake up in northern Victoria. Lake Cooley Milka. There you go, up in the Woomera. It is signed. It's just hard to make out the signature. There's a little bit of damage, but it's a nice watercolour. Another box of records and stuff and some pretty cool old calendars. Madonna, Samantha Fox. What else have we got? Bentwood rocking chairs, a ripper. Here's a nice carved camphor wood trunk. That thing's still here from last week. Nice outdoor bench or seat and a little plant stand. Little Windsor chair there. It needs a new seat, but there's with some nice old hand coloured lithographs of steeplechase scenes. Boxes of books, more boxes of books, some suitcases. Speakers, brassware, some sort of posters, music posters, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Mood, not original from 1972. It's definitely a later one, but there's Tom Petty and I think The Who in there as well. This is a nice early electric singer sewing machine. Nice little pair of Edwardian little sort of tub or salon chairs. 70s sort of teak shadow box mirror frames, pretty cool. We've got the rocking donkey. Kids rocking chair, more boxes of stuff, a couple of cool little Kendall stools and a nice little table there, sort of 1970s. 
This is pretty cool, the Tessa, I think 21 or T21, just the table frame. And then there's the glass waterfall coffee table, which funnily enough, <laughs> fits in the Tessa frame of peach. Two Will Eager screen prints or serographs of Collins Street and Vincent oil paintings. The terrace houses in Paddington one's quite nice. And we've got some books and other stuff. These are cool. These are all newspaper, um, news agent, milk bar headline posters, including Ginger Quits the Spice Girls. I was devastated I was. This is a cool all sort of communist ephemera, old by Lenin. The tasks of the proletariat in the revolution. Um, World War I books, motoring books. There's a nice sort of... Volkswagen Restoration Manual, the Dykes Encyclopedia, and a good little one on Mercs. Nice classic novel sets, mixed lot of books, Tiffany, Ainsley Roberts, and Allison Aircraft Engines. <laughs> Mid-century glass and plastics, Oriental, mixed lot of China figures and stuff, nice big group. Elvis singles and EPs, plus some other bits of Elvis, ABBA. Another mixed lot of vinyl, some picture discs. You can see Culture Club and Air Supply. Uh, so we got rocks. A really nice old set of scales with their original pan and weights. Four volume ICS reference library. Some nice rubber stamps and some big pinking shears and stuff. You go, you got some kiss bags, kiss fan photos, and a Norman Gunston <laughs> single. <laughs> Costume jewelry, some good stuff in there. We got some nice paintings this week. Little Betty Patterson's really nice. Uh, this is a nice Frankie Matsayas, pretty typical sort of trees. Nice light. Um, Arthur um, Illies, Eilies, something like that. I think is a German artist. This is a nice lithograph. Really lovely watercolor. I think of uh, what's it? Cathedral Mountain by R. E. Thompson, 1930s. And a nice, big, ripping, big John Stashell watercolour. I think it's just called Melbourne Icons. You've got all of them in there. Trams and bloody Flinders Street and Stapals. And that joint. Cool thing. Really nice, big watercolour. There you go. You've got the Roman Centurion. Great sort of 1950s clock with the laminate. Good little box of Australian records. Pair of decorative circa 1920 gilt-framed oils. The Seinfeld Lego set, which looks to be complete with all the little minifigures, including George. Um, Akadaka, good lot of English. Ian Jury, Def Leppard, The Damned, Live, Shepparton 1980, and Accept, which is some metal band. Uh, more Akadaka, more Akadaka, a couple of Sex Pistols albums, Carry On Sex Pistols, some product. And the biggest blow, a punk prayer by Ronnie Biggs, which I think is a 12-inch single with My Way on it. Akadaka, big blowtorch soldering iron. Fantastic bright green Puma bag. The Black Crows gig poster. Rock and roll. Comics and mad magazines. <laughs> Boomeroo, more Akadaka. Another interesting lot of vinyl records. This bloke was out of Grateful Dead or something. Humble Pie. Morris Day. Jade Warrior, comics, tins, good lot of sort of film star books and magazines. Another Akadaka 12-inch single. This is a pretty cool punk compilation. Exploited are on there. The Addicts. Cool stuff. Cool album. I think someone got the texture out, thank goodness. Boomeroo. Some tribal stuff. You've got North Melbourne Wegg posters. I think you've got an original one over the back uh, from 1999. And these two recent ones, Arnold Brightus, 1977, and Keith Gregg, 1975. Nice little collection of vintage prints. Science fiction. These are great. The sort of mid-century bullfighter. Big Schurich vase with another bit of German. Good lot of art, Australian art reference. The big Australian artist today over the back's got about 15 signatures by the artists. Nice big lot of ladies' beauty products. Norman Rockwell cabinet plates. Camels. Australian and other pottery. Some movie posters. Some nice 
uh, a couple of split cane fishing rods in this group with a couple of lovely little fly fishing reels and it's Yvonne Goolagong tennis racket. It's a nice little group like that, lot number 171. Nice big lot of camera gear, cricket ephemera, nice lot of sort of retro ceramics. The lady head vase got a bit of damage and so was a little Japanese, um, one of the dwarves. Uh, good Fitzroy stuff. These are pretty cool, little sort of handmade, little beaded pictures with details on the back as to who's actually made them. It's a nice old Baxter print with a nice old engraving. Cigars in their boxes, including the Coronas. More footy ephemera. There's some nice badges and stuff. Little Rick's Richmond fixture from 1971. Melbourne Olympics. Some good movie posters. I think this one's Young Frankenstein. Bit of Marty Feldman. Never hurt anybody. Cutlery set. Some more funerary items. Glass. Nice collection of classical EP. Uh, we got the Kiss Band rocking out, and that's the box there that they go in. Frankston Springs soda water bottle. More Gals and Gags magazines. Good lot of Phantom comics, number 500 upwards. And these are the two fantastic vintage 18 sort of 60s, 70s Australian mortuary ledgers. We're not sure where they're from, but some of them are quite sad. Child's coffin, da -da 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 -da, with all the costs involved, settled in full. So there's two of these all going through, all dated December the 25th. That's probably not the way, not the day you want to go. <laughs> 1865, so there's two of those. Uh, we've got some great WEG posters. I think that's 89 Hawthorne. I think 79 Hawthorne. And I no, I can't remember what that one is, 79 Carlton. These are great. They're owners, horse racing owners photographs, including the Caulfield Cup. For Farron, which came third, Galilee and Gala Crest first and second. But there's other good Group 1 races in amongst here, Caulfield Guineas, Sandown Guineas and stuff like that. Penfolds Grange, Penfolds Grange, Penfolds Grange, Penfolds Grange. So there's four, five bottles of it in the auction. It's all 1999, bin 95. It's all been stored correctly. Uh, Bluey and Curly and the Ginger Megs annuals. Uh, Page and Chanel gift set with a little bottle of number five. The uh, Page hasn't been opened. You've got this nice little Australian pottery owl, which is actually a little ocaringa. It is marked on the bases there, on his feet. Lovely Art Deco tin. A couple of nice bits. That's unmarked Art Nouveau, but the Amphora Ewer is a nice thing. She's nice as well, the wall plaque. You got the nice little greys, probably Susie Cooper, a little Art Deco hand decorated. Paint's coming off, hence our lot numbers being on the bottom. It's a great Ellis Ram, lovely book on Aboriginal art of the Western Desert. This is a really cool little presentation tank card. Um, Newington College, I think, up in Sydney. It's a mile walking race from 1879 or something like that. It's made by Hardy Brothers. I just can't read it. I haven't got my glasses on. Uh, what else have we got? The Dyson drink set's really nice. And this is a really nice bit as well. The Mats Jonasson little sort of glass bowl. Lovely bit. Anyway, guys, hopefully you saw something you liked. Be good. See you tomorrow night.